Hey guys, this is Corinne. I was just going to show you how I've been working on a document holder for um, SnapType. So this is for students who need to be able to easily take pictures of documents and import them into the SnapType app. Um, this I made just uh, using a single, uh, a simple one inch binder, just a regular one inch binder. So that's the smallest, um, I believe, the smallest binders that you traditionally can get. Um, and you open up the binder on the inside uh, margins and the inside borders of the, the binder, the top and bottom of both sides, I just put some half inch soft Velcro loop on those. And you'll see what that's for in just a second. Um, the next thing I used was this, these Avery, uh, let me see if you can see them, they're Avery um, big tab two pocket um, insertable um, page separators. And I'll show you what I did with that. <clears throat> so in that, what I did actually was cut out the pocket portion on one side, but just left a lip, just enough um, to secure to be able to slide a document into. So there's just a lip on that um, all the way around. Just use some scissors to trim that out. So there's the, the lip, you can see. Um, and then I'll insert that into the binder right into the rings and that can just stay in there um, and then the next thing I do is add some velcro hook so this is non-sticky this is just regular sew-on velcro um, this is the rough the hook side and then I can add that hook side um, part of it to the top portion of the binder and part to the bottom, getting it at about the angle I want it to. And you can always check and readjust that um, once you get your iPad in. Um, because each iPad, uh, depending on the version you're using, the cameras are in a little bit different location, you'll want to um, make sure it works for the iPad your student is using. <clears throat> so now I have it um, so that the automatically hold so I can close it. That Velcro can just stay in there and I can close it. When I flip it open, it will open up to the angle that I want to and hold that back panel up. And now if I have my divider, page divider in and kind of roll that forward so it's just leaning against the back of it. I can take any document that I need to type on, slide it into that document holder Okay, so now I've got my document set up. Um, the last thing I did was took, I mean, there's lots of options. I just had, this is a jumbo paper clip that I had. So just one of these big packs, these jumbo rubber coated paper clip. I was trying to think of something they could leave right on the binder. Um, I marked on the, on the binder right about where the iPad needs to, the edge of the iPad needs to stop in order to be in the frame of the picture. Um, it's right about at where that pocket seam is. So, but I'm just going to slide this on so you could again slide that paper clip on and just leave it on there. So when it's all closed, everything's ready to go. Um, and you just flip it open. And now when a student has their iPad, <clears throat> this is of course dependent on using the K's case, which most students are using. You just flip the handle back to make it so it stands up. And now I can pull, um, I can put the iPad down on the counter, on the desktop. I can pull this paper clip out a little bit just to make a little stop there. And I'm going to lay it on top of the, the iPad um, handle on the back. So the iPad is, let me see if I can get a little better angle, is just, the binder is just resting on the back of the iPad here. I'm gonna turn this so you can see. So here's the handle of the iPad. I'm just going to have that paper clip sticking out. I'm going to rest it up against there and use that paper clip just as a guide of how far over um, I want my iPad to, to be. There. Okay. So now I can oops, go in here. I'm just going to open up the camera app for now. Obviously I need to do a little adjusting of my Velcro to get it at a better angle, but 
um, can do that so I could have that set up so it's at a good angle. Now you can see that my document is all lined up. I just press the shutter button on my iPad and it's ready to go. And when I'm done with it, I can just slide the clothespin or the paper clip back. I also did try <clears throat> you know, a clothespin on there works well, uh, well too. So the clothespin on the side is a guide. Um, I just thought it might get a little clunky, fall out of the um, be a little bit more difficult to keep right in the binder. This is nice and thin and could store right in that pocket pretty easily. But you could also do this if that's easier for a student and just Velcro it um, right in place. But when I'm done with it, I can just take my iPad out, take, in, take my document out if I need to, close it all up, and it's ready for the next use.